my name is Ms. Baird and I'm the violin teaching artist of the Florida Orchestra and we are going to do four different bow hold games that I like to do uh, to make uh, getting used to holding your bow um, a little bit more fun. So first off, make sure that you're somewhere where the ceiling is high enough or you're not going to um, accidentally hit a fan or something with the tip of your bow because believe me I've done it and it's not pretty. <laughs> so make sure you're not going to hit a wall or a ceiling or something. Um, and next, let's make sure that we got our left and right hand because left hand, right hand. Right hand is the one that we're doing bow holds with. That's your bow hold hand. And I'm going to turn back around so don't let me confuse you because that can be confusing. We're going to put uh, a bow hold up so we have a Mr. Bent Thumb because he's bent. And we have uh, best friends, different up feet in the pool, Captain Hook, because it's a hook. Whether it maybe might be here if you play cello or bass. And our first finger is Mr. Lazy Cat. He just kind of snuggles in there, uh, relaxes in. Our first bow hold game is going to be what I call stir in the soup. So with a good bow hold, check your bow, thumb, best friends, check, check, check. We're going to stir the soup, literally like this. We're going to do five of them. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, and five. Check your bow hold. Check, check. Make sure you have a bent thumb. I like to call it ringing the doorbell. Ding dong. Because you have to have a, your thumb has to be bent in order to ring the doorbell. And Mr. Captain Hook. Those are the two I see the most often that get straight like this and ooh, it just looks like it hurts. All right, the second bow game, check your bow hold, thumb, middle guys, pinky. We're going to write your name on the ceiling with just your tip, with just the tip of the bow. Write your name on the ceiling, ready, set, go. So my first name's Chris, and we're ready. K R I S N. Stop. All right, you done? That's a fun one. I like that. All right, shake your hand out. If it ever hurts, you never want it to hurt. Always nice, soft fingers. So can you make, make a fist for me? Now, can you like tighten your arm? Urgh, ouch, it kind of hurts my elbow. You never want to feel it. You should always feel nice and relaxed. Let's do our third bow game, which I like to call appropriately windshield wipers. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. And that's where it's fine, our good bow hold. So let's go back to our thumb. Best friends, Captain Hook, Mr. Lazy Cat, and we're gonna do what I call windshield wipers, like this. So let's do, let's say three windshield wipers. One, two, golly gosh, it's really coming down. <laughs> number, and number three. Okay, I know, I'm just keeping it interesting. I encourage you to practice your bow holds. So for example, uh, you can take a pencil, like this, and before, um, not before, but like, let's say you're watching TV and goes uh, on a commercial break or something. Take the commercial break and your pencil and see how many good bowl holds you can get. Just on the commercial break, that's okay. You can go back to your TV show. And uh, it'll help. The reason is, the more that you can replicate your good bowl hold, um, the more comfortable it's gonna become um, with the bow in your hand prop in, in, in good position. It'll become more comfortable a lot sooner um, just kind of like, the, you know, when you remember when you first learned how to write, you know, the pencil probably didn't feel right when you learned how to hold the pencil. Same thing. The more you practice it, the uh, more comfortable it gets. Last one, last but not least, we're going to do rainbow. So let's see that uh, ball hold. Mr. Bent Thumb. Best friends dipping their feet in the pool. Captain Hook. And our lazy cat. We're going to do rainbow. So it just goes back and forth like this. Let's do three. Ready, go. One, it's like Lucky Charms. <laughs> Two, and three. So, you can always do more. Feel free to always do more bull holds, uh, more bull hold games. I know teachers that don't allow students to get instruments until they've done like 50 bull holds properly, but have fun with your bull holds. And uh, remember, Mr. Bentham and Captain Hunt.